Hey everybody, this is Dan for KMD on Cars. Today is a wonderful day because what I have behind me is one of the coolest vehicles I've ever had the chance to poke around. This is a 2022 Rivian R1T. This is an all-electric truck. It's about a little bit bigger than a Toyota Tacoma. It's not as big as an F-150, but let's talk about numbers. This car, this truck has 835 horsepower. It weighs 7,000 pounds. It has a 135 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, it'll go zero to 60 in about three seconds. I mean, the numbers are just insane. And this truck has some of the coolest features that I have ever seen in a vehicle. They are just so thoughtful. And I watched the video and one guy described it best. This is if a Subaru met a Polestar, meaning it has the rugged outdoor camping vibe plus the electric nature of a Polestar. So we're gonna poke around this. We're gonna take it down the road. I don't know if I'm gonna to get to drive it yet, but it's so cool. So this is the Rivian R1T. going to be a long video because there are so many cool features okay starting off with the key this key is a carabiner and when you unlock the doors it makes a chirp sound like a bird so we're all about outdoor let's see if you can get that see it sounds like a bird i mean that is just so cool uh, i learned a lot about this truck from the owner so the name rivian is a play on the indian river that is in florida i mean there's just so many cool features now this does have the specific tires for this car this truck they are pirelli scorpion tires which are fantastic tires now this is the most unique uh design aspect of any car that is out there they they all have the light bar that goes around the front and the two sort of eyes um, now this is the turn signal when you turn on the car and those are the headlights you've got fog lights down there but i just think this is such a cool color that goes with everything and this is the most unique styling of anything i think i've ever had the chance to review now this is the rivian logo that's pretty cool now this is a company that is out of evanston illinois and they've been around for 10 years but this is the first truck to ever come out now here is the charging door right here okay if you unlock it just hover your finger over there and that is the charging door right there how the lights go on now when you have when you are charging this thing this bar in the middle turns green to say that you are indeed charging for all your fast charging right there that is that so if you just you just sort of roll your finger over that that is the charge door nice nice design there now this is an electric truck so it does have uh, a frunk in the front now there is a little button underneath here that you press and there it is right there there's the front trunk the frunk if you will this still has lots of cool features now this is a button that if you ever get trapped in there and this right here is magnetized you can put that up right there to have lots of extra storage now this rope goes in the back if you have your bikes and stuff back there you can attach these to put them around your bike frame and do that but the, everything is just so well thought out and designed you got a nice little storage rack right here now it's all automatic and there's your windshield washer fluid but yeah that is the front trunk we'll definitely check out the rear space but i just love the design of this thing so much if you just hit the button once more there it is right there okay moving around to the side now an other feature that is one of the coolest things i've ever seen here we're gonna keep unlocking the doors come out but this is the gear tunnel if you hit this button right here this is where you can store all of your stuff i mean this is 65 inches long this can hold up to 250 pounds so i can fit there easily there's your first aid kit right there I mean, I can jump up onto this. Look, I am up on the Rivian right here. So that's where you can get all your stuff up on the front or on the roof and you can mess with the back. I mean, that is really like the coolest thing ever. If you're a hiker, you can sit there and take your boots off. Uh, there is a oven that comes out here. It is like $7,000, which the owner said it was not worth it. But this is just the coolest idea. So let's go around the other side. 
So look, you can go completely through. I mean, you can put all your stuff right there. There is a 12 volt hookup right there and a 110 over there. That's how you get from the back seat. I mean, no other vehicle has this. No other, all the trucks that are around have, uh, you know, car components and suspension under there. That is just really one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a vehicle. Now these are the aero covers. These are huge 21 inch rims with the Pirelli Scorpion tires, like I said. But yeah, the gear tunnel is just about one of the coolest things I've seen. So let's check out the back. Okay, now this is the back of the Rivian. This does have the same uh, light bar going around the back. There's the R1T. Now these buttons up here, this is how you open the truck bed, which is all electric. Uh, that pops down right there. Now if you hit this button, you can open up. There is a full, there can be a full size spare. The owner has one, but I don't think he just has it in here. But look at all this storage. I mean, that is absolutely huge. You can put all your drinks back there. This thing goes completely up the whole way. I mean, that's just such such a good idea for tailgating. You put all your stuff back there. Now, one other thing. Let's just close this thing real quick. This car, this truck does have a tonneau cover, but at the moment it is not working. And how to operate it is with this button, and it completely slides out to cover all the stuff in there. Now, these hooks right here. Uh, are the roof racks. You can put them on the side of the uh, truck bed when everything is closed to put your bikes back here, but they also fit up there. Uh, the same thing. Uh, the owner doesn't have them, but he thought about getting them. Just didn't want to do it at the time. But this is just the coolest designed vehicle truck I have ever seen. It's just so many good ideas with the gear tunnel and the front trunk and all the thoughtful measures of the back. It's really a beautiful looking truck. Uh, it's it's the perfect size too, I think. I think the F-150 Lightning is just too big. I just think it's the right size. Uh, it has a usable bed, which is not huge. I think it's about four or four and a half feet. But as far as the design goes, easily one of the coolest vehicles I've ever been around. I love the look of it. I love the color. I love the name. Rivian is just a cool play on something that the owner likes in the outdoors. So let's take a look at the inside. All right, we're gonna go take a look at the take a look at the inside. You see the door handles pop out, sort of like a Lamborghini Huracan. Now this is where the cool features continue. So this is vegan leather. It's essentially plastic. You can get it all muddy and then just wipe it out. But I love the look of the wood. So let's just put the seat back a little bit here. And this, this sort of green, sort of mossy color really fits into the whole motif of the vehicle. Now, this is the biggest screen, the biggest horizontal screen I've seen in a while. This is 16 inches. Now, I guess people always compare this to Tesla, but it's really its own thing. So you have your main things along the bottom here. I mean, look how huge this is. This is my hand. It is absolutely huge. Nice map. I mean, beautiful map. That is just insane. Then you have your music. Now, one thing that people sort of have complained, but the owner doesn't mind, this Rivian does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which I think that's fine. I mean, it's not a deal breaker in my opinion. Now, here is your driving modes. You have Sport, Conserve, Snow, Off-Road. Now, these are all updated through over-the-air updates, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, you have your brake regen, your stability control, your ride height. Now this is uh, air suspension. So it can go up to 15 inches of air of clearance down to eight inches. I think this is the normal mode, but lowest standard. Now, if you're camping, you can, uh, and you're not level, you can hit a button and it will level itself so you could sleep. Uh, I mean, it's just so many good ideas. Now, when you go into the climate controls, you can change them and these will move as I go down, on, on. Now I watch, it's gonna move, see? If I go left, it goes left. I mean, that is so cool. If I go right, this guy goes right. If I go left, it goes left. I mean, awesome, awesome features. Now, you can control everything from the screen, which I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, this is where you mostly use everything. Now, this screen in the front here controls your gear selector and your map is on the left side and then your miles per hour will be in front of you. But it's really thoughtfully laid out and this wood is so nice. That's a sort of open pore type of wood. I thought the interior color would be almost a little too much, but I like it a lot. Now there is a huge 
panoramic screen up front, up top rather. Nicely dimmed because it is a it is a cloudy day, but that thing could get in your face, and I don't think I think it's tinted enough where it will not be in your face. So you can control the mirrors and everything from over here. Here, let's just turn this down a little bit. Yeah, all right. I mean, there's no glove box. That's also kind of weird, but I don't think it matters. Now, one other cool thing. This car, oh, on the door. There is a flashlight on the door. How cool is that? It says Rivian, and I've heard this is super bright. And the other really cool thing, that just pops right in there. Rolls-Royce has the umbrella in the door. Rivian has a flashlight. The other coolest thing is right here. This is a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, look at that. It charges right there. You can take it out and use it as a lantern. But I mean, this is like the coolest thing. Whatever music is on the main screen, that is what comes up on this. And you can use it for charging. You can use it as a lantern, like I said, but I mean, how cool is that? And this is a big speaker, so the sound is excellent. I mean, that is really one of the coolest things I've seen. I'm gonna put that right there. So you do have your storage up here. Get all your stuff. I think you can get a charging pad right here. But I mean, this is just such good ideas everywhere. So let's take a look at the back. All right. Take a look at the back seat. You still have the same beautiful vegan leather. Now here is the pass-through where you can get to the gear tunnel right there. If you have a cooler full of drinks, you can get them back there. Now check this out. This does have, this has storage under the back seat. I mean, look how huge that is. Uh, you can, if you're surfing or something out here, you can put your wet bathing suits in there. It is watertight. I mean, you can put all your drinks and stuff back there. You can hide stuff. I mean, this is such a good idea. Uh, that side has the subwoofer, so you can't really do anything with that. But look at the flat bottom, because there's no transmission, no gear tunnel or anything. More climate back here. Climate synced. And I love the little touches here, the, the coat rack. You have USB-Cs right there. I love the little gold right there on the tie downs. I mean, this is a beautifully crafted interior. I really, really, really like everything about this. I mean, this is really one of the coolest vehicles I've had the chance to poke around. It's just there, I don't think I'd change anything other than the, uh, maybe the price. That's that's about it. Now I did, I did mention just a second ago about the price. Now these started uh, about $75,000, but the quad motor version like this is, could go up to $90,000, which is a big price. Uh, not a lot of people, I mean, not many people I know can afford a $90,000 all electric truck, but what you're getting for that money is insane features, crazy performance, uh, off-road capability, all the thoughtful features with the gear tunnel and the frunk and all the tie downs and the tonneau cover and the roof racks. I mean, the list is pretty endless. It comes with a lot of stuff. Um, if the Tesla Cybertruck was an actual thing, this thing would blow the water blow it out of the water. That thing is a pig compared to this. I think this is beautifully designed. Uh, really thankful to Bernardo for giving me a look around this thing. So we're gonna maybe go for a ride and we'll wrap this up and get it out there. All right, so I just touched on it very quickly, but really this is one of the coolest uh, vehicles I've had the chance to poke around. I love the unique styling of the light bars. Basically everything about this truck is very cool and futuristic. Uh, so now we're, I think we're gonna go for a ride. Uh, if you like videos like this, uh, this is my first review I've done of the year. It's just been busy, busy, busy with school and other stuff. Uh, so if you like what you see, don't forget that subscribe button right here. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gammy Dion Cars. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next one. See ya.